Actress Meghan Markle will wed Prince Harry in a royal grand wedding May 19th. Markle's American and biracial identity is a symbol for some who are proudly calling her the Black Princess. This is amazing! I know Prince Harry loved the chocolate! So in other words, the prince is marrying a black divorcee? <laughs> yes, we can! But Markle may not be the first mixed-race British royal. Some historians believe Queen Charlotte may have been the first black queen. And while the actress is thrust into the global spotlight, the prince's relationships also exposes what some are calling quiet racism in the UK. So many newspapers and internet trolls have published racist headlines and articles that Buckingham Palace, on behalf of Prince Harry, issued a public statement rebuking the harassment and abuse. The Brit do subtle racism. It's not the N-word, it's in color. The Daily Mail said that Meghan is almost straight out of Compton. She isn't. She actually went to a private school in Hollywood, but she's black, she's on the West Coast, so she must be in NWA. But while there may be some racist remarks, there are many black Britons who see this upcoming wedding as a moment of inclusion, a reflection of themselves, and an opportunity to be seen. Yes, it does represent change, and I think it's a good thing in that, at least the royal family, they'll experience more of the black culture. When it comes to issues in regards of race, even if the royal family want to be quiet about it, she's going to have to be vocal. I think the royal family are highly overrated. I don't think they do anything for society. Currently, 87% of the British population is white and 3% is black, according to the 2011 census. Like America, in the UK, racial inequalities exist in health, employment, and education. For example, according to the House of Commons Library, unemployment for British people of color are twice as much as whites. Where are you from? That is what I call the question. For almost as long as I can remember, it's something that I have been asked almost every day of my life. Afua Hirsch is the author of British on Race, Identity and Belonging. The cumulative effect of me being asked the question so frequently has been the unsettling sense that if you look like me, you can't just be British. Hirsch argues the royal family is the very antithesis of diversity. Don't underestimate the symbolism of a royal marriage. From now on, it'll be impossible to argue that being black is somehow incompatible with being British. Is it an instant yes from you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I could barely let you finish proposing. I said, like, can I say yes now? She didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes, can I say yes now? And then, then there was hugs and I had the ring in my finger. And... and while not everyone agrees on Markle's impact on race relations in the UK, she has at least sparked conversations on race and inclusion.